Hey YouTube fans, people into webs, it's me, Sam G1, coming at you for another Star Trek, the official Star Ships collection review. This time we're doing issue number 142, the Promelian Battle Cruiser. Now this is a ship I've been waiting for, for a fucking age, since they started this thing. This was one of the ships that I really wanted, and it's taken 142 issues to get to me, but we'll have it. So, as per usual, nice glassy magazine, and the ship itself, but more than that in a little bit. So we've got specification type warship launched 14th century, another 14th century ship. Um, destroyed 2366, length 600 meters approximately, so it's nearly as big as a galaxy class. Propulsion, uh, Lang cycle fusion engines, example Kepoji, uh, Captain Gaelic Sar. And then we've got a nice um, image of the underside of it there. Uh, while charting the planetary wreckage of Aurelius 9, the crew of the Enterprise found that found an intact Promelian battlecruiser. It was still in excellent condition, dis considering it had been sat amongst the debris field for over a thousand years, and it was substantially rare and magnificent relic from a species whose ships became a legend. So we've got some more images from the episode Booby Trap as well. It's a fantastic episode. It's one of my favourites of TNG. Um... Captain Picard had a lifelong passion for archaeology and he was enormously excited when he and the Enterprise D found an intact Promelian battlecruiser. He had always dreamed of visiting an ancient craft such as this, but never um, such as this, ever since he used to build model airships in, bottle, in bottles as a child. Um, he insisted on being a part of the away team that um, visited the craft and it was particularly impressed at the layout of the bridge which was found to be a uh, model of simplicity. And then we've got um, the topographical view there as well. Very nice, very nice. I like the multiple views when we get them. Um, Captain Picard was greatly impressed by the Promethean cruiser's tactical display. The Starfleet went through four different designs before they... Uh, reached a similar level of sophistication and they did not have fully integrated tactical command like the Promelians until the 23rd century. The Promelian battlecruiser was used used protrusion ducts to channel power from one end of the ship to the other. Staff that use uh, positronic relays in some parts of the ship to transfer power. Sarah so there. The Promelian captain of the ship, uh, encountered by the uh, Enterprise D, was named Gaelic Sar. That was how his name was pronounced and how it was spelt in the script. But in the episode, in the credits, wrote it Gaelic Da. Okay. Chelsea of the Promelian, uh, Bridge of the Promelian Battlecruiser, were the same one used aboard the Klingon Bed of Prey, Season 2, A Matter of Honour. They were also used in a few episodes later in Contagion and a Romulan warbed named the Hakuna. And then we've got building building the Promelia Battle Cruiser. Um, it was actually a model used for a movie called Night of the Creeps. Yeah, um, which is a fucking bizarre movie. Um, and they just added to it and took away parts and and just made it you know fit into Star Trek really. And then we've got Next Generation Season 3 production design. And we've got some images of uh, various phaser redesigns. Because the Season two, season 1 and 2 phasers were very ugly. The Dust Busters. Um, they were very, 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 very ugly. And then we've got some images of um, various episodes there. Including a, uh, a um, production design of the Klingon Great Hall. And then we've got the... Uh, Actually, that comes from season two, but the that's the recreation, um, the CGI one. Yeah, the interior of the bulk cube showing endless regeneration all goes was created for Best of Both Worlds Part One. It wasn't. That's that was seen in um, Q Who first. That's wrong. Um, Matt Payton. It was a Matt Payton. However, this image is the CGI. Um, one from the TNG Blu-ray. Then we've got on screen. First appearance, booby trap. It's only appearance, I think. But the model was re reused later as a Klingon ship, and I think it's just another ship, Doctor Deep Space Nine. 
Um, TV appearance, Doctor Next Generation, designed by Steve Berg. Susan Gibney, who played um, Dr. Leah Brahms in Booby Trap. She reprised her role in Galaxy's Child. Gibney also played Commander Captain Erica Benteen in Deep Space Nine episodes Homefront and Paradise Lost. Another two good, great episodes there. Uh, Gibney had an audition for the roles of Counselor Deanna Troy and Lieutenant Tasha Yara in Next Generation. She was one of the uh, forerunners for the lead to land role of Captain Janeway and Seven of Nine on Voyager. But she kept auditioning, didn't she? Bless her. Booby Trap was the second of three episodes in the entire, entire run of Next Generation in which Captain Picard took control of the helm. <coughs> Excuse me. On the Enterprise. The first one was in se uh, Season 1, Episode 11001001. Um, and the final time was the fifth season episode of Conundrum. Promelians and the Menthars were not only ancient races that leave behind technology that nearly crew the crew of the Enterprise. Uh, this also happened in the last outpost in the Tacon Empire and Contagion with the Iconians and the Astral Freedom with the Mendosians. Mendosians. So there we are. Image on the back. Right. So on to the model itself. Now, I fucking love this thing look it's even got its likes like cycle fusion engines um i lang cycles fusion engines sorry this is the reason i subscribe to this when have we ever got a promelian battlecruiser never is the answer um i always thought you i always thought that was the front because in the episode when the enterprise flies through the debris field that's the image they see on the view screen. And then later on in the episode, you, you're kind of looking at that for the most part. And then there's one shot of it as the episode, the title card and Captain's Log, is that it? You, the camera kind of pans along like that and then it, you see the Enterprise D. Um, but according to the magazine there, because I always thought this part was the bridge. Um, but, according, but according to the uh, magazine there, that's the bridge. This is a sensor dome. Kind of like an earwax. Um, but the detail on it is fantastic. I love all this detail on there. Detail you don't get on ships these days. You know? Um, you just don't get it. Everything has to be alien and, you know, um, just weird and, and stuff like that. Whereas this, there's some, some great detailing going on under there. This camera's never going to show it. Um, there's some fantastic detail going on. I do love this, the fact that this is is um, asymmetrical. Um, I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Does it say it in the magazine? Let's have a look. Um, I don't know what that's supposed to be exactly. It could be just like um, a sensor array or something like that. Does it say? Oh, it says aft energy weapon, it says. Um, so it could be a um, like a phaser array or a torpedo launcher, um, and then we've got one at the front there. Um, but just this is this is the reason I subscribe to this thing. Um, like I say, we've, I've never thought in a million years I'd actually get a model for this thing, because I did wonder if we would ever get this actually because of the fact that the model was used in another film, Night of the Creeps, um, and there could be a legal legally legal issue um you know but evidently not because here it is in my hand um but there's some fantastic details some really nice weathering on this actually it does look ancient um and it's just a thing of beauty it really is it really is one of those like just really cool things uh, i'm so glad i have this um should he get this yes you fucking should he's in a really awesome episode um you know and I just think this is one of the one of the reasons why I collect this thing. Um, to get ships like this. How about look at detail on the bottom there? So fucking cool. So fucking cool. Actually, I think this camera could do with a wipe. I do apologise. Woo. That's a bit better. There we are. Yeah, so it's just a thing of beauty. It really is just something I wanted to behold. I mean, the detail on it is fantastic. Like I said, you just not you just don't get this type of detail in models anymore because they're not models of CGI now, aren't they? The, the art of making a model spaceship for a film gone, and and we'll never see the like again, you know. Um, and it's and it's and it's a sad realization, really, you know. So hang on a minute. Ah, oh, that's better. There we go. I got 
fucking fingerprints all over it. There we are. You can see it now. You can see what I'm doing now. Um, but yeah, it, it's just... I fucking love it. Can you see? I can't even quantify how much I love it. This is a fucking fantastic thing. Um, and yes, you should pick this up. And it comes on a nice sound, as I all of them do. But except mine is now cock Look at that. The quality control is slipping. Um, these all used to be straight in the middle. But now they're all a bit cock -eyed. It says 2018 on there, so it's a bit out of date. So it does fit in the stand thus, although it's a little loose in there. Oh, does it go that way? No, it don't, don't fit that way either. It's a little loose in there, but it does stay okay. So thanks for watching me prattle on about the Promelian Battlecruiser. Um, if you like what I do, consider subscribe. Uh, consider donating to my Patreon. There will be some um, advantages to doing that, like you get your name in the credits, and I'll put a, start putting videos up early for your Patreon subscribers. Um, and um, just a dollar a month. Um, check out my other playlist there. Shows you when I've got new um, content out and stuff like that. And um, my other content, my um, video game stuff, which I really got a week off next week, so I will be video gaming like crazy. Um, and if you like what I do, please like, share and subscribe. And I will catch you all on the uh, flip side. Adios.